This Tuesday, voters in Colorado will decide on whether to decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms. They're illegal almost everywhere, but their apparent health benefits have put them on the ballot. Barry Peterson has more tonight from Denver. They're known as magic mushrooms with the active ingredient psilocybin that some research shows may help a lot of people. Dr. Albert Garcia Romeo is assistant professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Johns Hopkins University, where psilocybin is tested in clinics. I think psilocybin seems to be very promising as a potential treatment for a number of different conditions for depression, for addictive disorders. That would include things like alcohol dependence, cocaine dependence, opioid dependence, tobacco use. Colorado was the first state to legalize recreational marijuana. Now it's voting, as Oregon already has, to let people grow psilocybin for personal use or go to special clinics using it with monitors present, a move supported by Denver City Councilman Chris Hines. The public doesn't know much about what's happening in a commune or prayer circle or whatever, but, um, but people understand what, uh, what medicine is, Western medicine. Psilocybin is a federal Schedule One drug like heroin or LSD, but the FDA has now designated it a breakthrough drug for research purposes. Still, Jeff Hunt opposes legalization. He is director of the Centennial Institute at Colorado Christian University. These kind of drug entrepreneurs are going, well, we can take it to the ballot box and get general people who have no expertise in this to say that it's okay, and then we can eventually commercialize it and make a lot of money on it. And if Colorado decides to legalize psilocybin use, this drug, going back to ancient times, may help treat the mental diseases of our times. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Denver.